360 Video Editing in Pinnacle Studio. 360 Video is captured from specialized 360-degree video cameras, typically a camera that has one or two ultra-wide fisheye lenses to capture video in all directions at the same time. If you want to see what this video looks like and pan the camera around yourself, click the link in the top right. In Pinnacle Studio, you can edit this footage in three different ways. So let's go through them one by one. When you add 360 footage to your timeline, Pinnacle will show you the raw footage in the timeline monitor, and you can see how it will look as a 360 video by clicking the 360 preview pane, where you can pan around by dragging the mouse. Additionally, if you check your timeline settings, you should see that the aspect has been changed to 360 video 2 to 1. If your footage doesn't look right, you're probably using single or dual fisheye footage rather than equirectangular. Just right click on the clip and click 360 video, 360 video conversion, then either single or dual fisheye to equirectangular. You can then view in the 360 preview pane as usual. Then it's just a case of editing as normal. You trim footage in exactly the same way. And you can even add text and flat non-360 videos as overlays, as you can see here on my timeline. Pinnacle should, by default, make any objects you drag to the timeline sit within the panoramic field, but you can double check by right-clicking an object and going to 360 video and ensure insert object as 360 video is selected. Overlaid flat videos will display as a virtual theater screen inside your 360 world. And for all objects in 360 space, you can alter where they sit within this space by going to the editor and the 360 video tab and alter the parameters with X for horizontal, Y for vertical, and Z for distance from the viewer. And all of these parameters can be keyframed. For example, if your 360 camera is moving and you want to track a text label to something in the 360 video to call out to the viewer about what they're seeing. Once you're done and you're ready to export, ensure same as timeline is checked. Sometimes you want to be in control of the view that your viewers see. To export the 360 video as a standard, non-interactive video with the camera panning around to your direction, right-click the clip on the timeline and select 360 followed by equirectangular to standard. We've now got 360 source and 360 preview panels. We can use these to show where the camera is looking and keyframe these X, Y and Z axis movements over time. I'll skip ahead on my timeline, then drag the crosshair of the 360 source monitor and new keyframes are created with the new position. Similarly, skip ahead on the timeline some more, and this time I'll change the camera viewpoint on the 360 preview pane. And the same happens, we get new keyframes updated with the new camera position. You'll notice that each time we create keyframes with either of these methods, Pinnacle will also create another keyframe about half a second before with the previous camera position. This is to create a quick camera movement. If you want a slower movement, just go in and delete these keyframes and you'll get a more gradual camera pan from the last keyframes to the new camera position. The only axis that doesn't get altered in this way is the z-axis, which is the depth of the camera shot. In effect, the level of zoom applied to the camera. We can instead update this on the z-axis directly to zoom in or out. Once you've directed the camera movement how you want it, the rest of the editing process is identical to a regular flat video. We can add text to call out or label what is on screen for the viewer. Or add effects. For example, it would be good to add new blue stabilizer to even out the jerkiness in the clip produced by the cameraman's footsteps and the fact that this footage wasn't recorded with a gimbal. And we can mix this directed 360 footage with standard video clips on our timeline to build the story we want to tell. Once you're done editing, jump to export and render your video however you need it, as you'll just be outputting a regular flat video file. The third way to edit 360 video is a creative and fun effect which wraps the video around on itself. Just right click your 360 clip on the timeline, select 360 video conversion and then select your footage type to spherical panorama. If your footage is single or dual fisheye, you'll first need to convert it to equirectangular. Export it. Drag the resulting clip back into Pinnacle 
and then select Echo Rectangular to Spherical Panorama. We've gone into this feature in more depth in its own tutorial, which you can watch by clicking the link in the top right. But briefly, you'll see that the Timeline Monitor has become a square aspect ratio, which is what the Tiny Plant effect is. And if we go to the Timeline settings, we can see that this is now a square video. To make changes to the Tiny Planet, just make sure you're on the Editor panel and the 360 tab, and then we can switch Tiny Planet to Rabbit Hole, which wraps the footage around in the opposite direction, as well as change the zoom and rotation level, and all of these parameters can be keyframed to make even crazier effects. To export, either use Same as Timeline, or if you want something custom, just remember to keep your horizontal and vertical sizes the same, so that the video is square. If you want something like a 16-9 aspect ratio, you may have to re-edit your tiny planet to ensure you aren't losing parts of your image off screen, or have those ugly black bars at the side of your video. If you've made it this far in the video, you must already have a 360 camera, or you're thinking of getting one. So we look forward to looking at what you create in Pinnacle Studio, in every direction. Happy editing!